Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paddle boat with stuff that you can find right around your house. So the very first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make the paddle. And so for that, what we're going to need is a milk jug. All right, and so with the milk jug, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out four three inch by two inch squares, okay? So here's what I did. I took a little post-it note and, oh, it's backwards, but <laughs> this side is three inches and this side is two inches. And I took my post-it note and I taped it to my milk jug and I drew a line around it, right? And I stenciled it. And then I cut out my squares and I did four of them. So you can actually see on the side here where I cut out my stencils. So I've got four little milk jug paddles to be made. So once you cut these out, and don't worry, it'll take some time. You should get an adult and you can pause this video and come right back. Then what you're going to need is you're going to have to tape them together so you can make a little paddle with them, right? And so for that, we need some duct tape. And if you are cool like me and you wander around your house looking for duct tape, it'll have penguins on it. If not, that's fine. <laughs> uh, regular duct tape will work just as good. So the goal of the duct tape is to tape our paddles together um, when they're bent halfway. So I'll show you what I mean by that. One second. So we're gonna take our first piece of duct tape and then we're gonna take two of our little three by two inch squares. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to tape them together on just one side, okay? So kind of near the edge. And so we're gonna take my duct tape, gonna tear off another smaller piece, and I'm gonna tape these together. Try and keep it even if you can. All right, so see how that's taped together right there? I'm actually gonna move it over just a little bit, make it a little bit more even if I can. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got it taped together on that one side, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bend my pieces of milk jug, okay? Because what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my third one and I'm going to tape the third one just in there like that, right? So I'm basically going to take another piece of duct tape and tape this one to the side of one of these again. So we'll take another piece of duct tape see, just like that right to the side. Now every time you do this, it might get just a little bit trickier. No big deal. Take as much time as you need. See, there you go. And then this last one is going to be the trickiest one because what we're going to do is I'm going to tape it to both of these. So that way I'm going to end up with this little triangle just like that. Okay? So I'm going to do my last piece of duct tape here, and I'm just going to do them one at a time. So, take my duct tape, I'm going to take this top one first, there we go. That's one more, and then the last one. I'm gonna tape together as well. Okay, there you go. And you see now we have a little four-way paddle here. All right, so that's actually probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Um, so once you get through that, good job. All right, the next thing we're going to need is a plastic water bottle type um, container. So I have a 
nice big lemonade tea square container, but you could also just use a regular round water bottle. You can use whatever you want. I wanted to make mine nice and big so it's easy to see. So once you have your jug, you're gonna need more duct tape and some chopsticks. So what we're gonna do is about three fourths of the way down on your jug, you're going to tape your top stick, okay? So I actually drew a little line right here so it's easy to see. And you're gonna tape your chopstick to the jug right there, okay? And you see this little part here hanging off the end? You want about three or four inches of your chopstick hanging off the end over here, all right? So I actually have made little marks on both sides, so that way it's easy for me to see where I need to put my chopsticks. So I'm gonna rest it down here on the table. I'm gonna take my duct tape. Sorry, I know it's hard to see with it. Now it's on the table, but I'll bring it right back up. So I'm part way done. Chopstick doesn't want to stay. Guys, I might have lied, but this might be the hardest part. It's taping down the chopstick. Okay. Let's see. Who knew? Okay, there we go. Alright, so. Pretty much what I've done, like I said, I just lined up the chopstick with my little mark and I've got the duct tape on it. So now I'm going to bring the top duct tape around and I'm going to duct tape the other chopstick down where it needs to be as well. discovering it's easier if you open up your duct tape as far as you can before trying to lay down the chopstick. Little tips and tricks for you. There we go. Okay. See, we basically have our bottle and we've got our chopsticks and they're taped right there. Believe it or not, we are almost done. So the last thing you're going to need is a rubber band. So what you're going to want to get is a rubber band that doesn't really have to be stretched out very much when you have to put it around the ends of the chopsticks. Mine's a little small, but um, it should do the trick. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take your little paddle, you're going to put your rubber band around the middle of your paddle there, and then you're going to take, whoo, you're going to take your, the bottom of your paddle boat, and you're going to put the rubber band around the end here of the chopsticks. So that way your paddle is in between. All right. There we go. And you have just made a paddle boat. So you want to be careful about where you put the paddle. Make sure it doesn't hit up against the side of your container. Um, I lied actually before. That was not the last thing that you, you have to do. The last thing we have to do is put a name on our boat. I don't know if you guys know this, but they say that it is bad luck to take a boat out without a name. So, I'm a big fan of Star Trek, and therefore my boat is going to be called the USS Enterprise. And there we go, paddle boat. Now we've gotta go see it in action. So, we're gonna go to the back room. All right guys, so now I'm gonna test out my paddle boat. Um, I'm gonna use my tub. You can use a tub, a sink, little kiddie pool that you have in your backyard, whatever you want. Um, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to take the paddle and I'm going to roll it around, right? So that way the rubber band gets twisted and it'll spin the paddle back 
the other way when I'm doing it. So one important thing to think about is which way do I want my paddle to go? Which way do I want to push the water? So we're going to wind it up. Stick it in. And there it goes. You guys want to do different size bottles, different weights, different size rubber bands, different elasticities. You can do that. You can also make multiple ones and have races if you have siblings at home. Um, if not, you can race yourself. Uh, it's all good. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your paddle boats. Um, keep listening to your parents. And I will see you later. Bye.